Hey everyone, this is Sally Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus and I'm making holographic stickers today and I wanted to share some tips for the design and the cutting process. I'm setting up my print and cut page. I will have additional resources in the links in the description of this video below for print and cut and on all the tools that I'm using. I'm opening up a cut file. This butterfly is a cut file by Wispy Willow Designs. I will also link that in the description below as well. And I'm scaling the design down and then I'm going to copy it and paste it onto my print and cut page. Then I'm going to adjust this design and I want to take this two layer cut file and create a one layer sticker file out of it. But I want to adjust this not only in the size, but I'm also going to share with you how I filled it each one of the designs that I'm going to do with different patterns. So I turned the line color to transparent. So the red cut line color disappeared. And then I'm going to start arranging this on my page. Now that's a little big for a sticker. So I'm going to continue to adjust this. And then I'm going to group the file together and make a copy. I'm going to fill this entire page with different butterflies. I'm going to ungroup that first butterfly file and come in here, zoom in a little bit so we can see this. Select that and make another copy. And I'm just continuing to at least fill the first line before I start to change the colors of this butterfly. Now that I have this, I'm gonna come over to the show media library and I find this works well for your patterns. You can see them at a larger size so I can select the patterns that I want to use. So I'm going to come down and just start scrolling through the many patterns that I have. And I selected one, whatever object is selected on your screen, it is going to fill that object with that pattern. If you like it, I'm continue on and I'm going to select the next butterfly. I'm selecting inside the wings where the blue shaded area is currently. And then I'm going to select a new pattern. Now that's not quite the look I was going for. So I'm going to close the media library. I'm going to come up to the fill color panel and the patterns tab at the top, choose the pan pattern, and I'm going to start to adjust that pattern. I can scale it up so I can get a yellow color that is larger and then pan that pattern again. So you have a lot of different options in one pattern and you can play around with this until you get the exact look that you're going for. I'm filling these with patterns because butterflies are not always a solid image or solid color. They're gonna have variances and different things. So I can add a little bit of interest to my stickers by using a pattern. I filled that little tiny butterfly with just plain orange. And then I'm gonna come over with the additional copies that I've made, nothing was selected, so nothing filled with the pattern. I'm gonna select the object, click on the pattern, and it fills the object that is selected. And I'm just closing the media be uh, show library panel because it's easier to see with the fill color panel open. So you can go back and forth with that. Again, choosing the pan pattern and adjusting as desired. Every single sticker, or every design you create using this method would be different. Unless you are copy and pasting the exact same design and making no changes, your designs are going to look a little bit different. You can see now I have the pinks and the orange in that design. I'm gonna make copies and continue to fill the page. Before I go to print, I can make all the final adjustments to how where my objects are placed on the page to make sure that none of my cut lines are overlapping and that I can fill the page with the maximum number of stickers and still have an accurate cut. So I chose this one, I wanted a pink pattern. I'm panning that over after I've scaled it and I'm going to fill this butterfly with a yellow color. And I'm just playing around here to see how things will look. And then I'm going to make a copy of that second row and pull that down. I hold down my Alt key to make a copy. Now I have the entire page filled and every single one of those butterflies is different. 
When I go to the Send tab, all the cut lines show for everything. So I selected everything, chose Cut Edge, and then here's a little trick. I wanna create an offset, but now I have a lot of designs on my page. So I'm going to the Select by Color, choosing the black because that is the outer edge of the butterfly, and I'm going to create the offset on the black. So these, I didn't wanna to try to cut those little tiny antennas out of the sticker paper and the holographic on top of each other with the two layers. I just didn't think it would work well. So I'm going to adjust my offset and you wanna make sure that your offset of each butterfly is not overlapping the next butterfly or when you click apply, it will weld that offset to each other. So you still wanna have enough of an offset that it is individual for each of your butterflies. And here I'm just trying to determine what offset I really want. Do I want those antennas kind of cut out around the dimension a little bit more, or do I want it to be larger? So I'm just finally finalizing it here and making those adjustments, making sure that those red cut lines are not overlapping each other before I adjust the offset. Now, with a lot of data on your screen or on your file, it may take a little bit of time for your offset to catch up to you. So once I did that, it was a 0 .040 offset. I'm gonna go back to the select by color, choose the black again, and now I wanna go to the send tab, and this way I can easily tell it to no cut on the black, and the only cut lines I have now are around the offset that I created. So when you have a lot of designs on your page, you can use those tools in order to help you work with those designs faster. I printed the page, and then the first time I tried this, my first sticker sheet, I cut my holographic overlay down, and I covered the images. This is what we typically would advise for older machine models. Now I have a Cameo 5 that is supposed to read the marks better. So this is what I did the first time. I applied the laminate on top of the design, avoiding the top two registration marks. My laminate was still too large and it covers, as you'll see here in just a second, it covers that bottom left registration mark. I think it may have interfered as you're going to see in my results. So bottom left registration mark is covered with that holographic laminate. My page is also curled that could affect your results as well because your page is not the same as the on-screen design. So when it cut, not all of them, just a couple of them were off. It didn't, some of the top ones were great or better. Uh, the bottom right one was not. So next I took a full sheet of holographic laminate, covered it, put it into my machine, closed the lid and I held my mat up when it registered and look at that, it's so much better. A lot better on that offset in the entire page. All of them cut very, very well. And there's a look at one from the center of that sticker sheet. Here's a closer look with that pattern fill that I used. Hopefully those tips will help with your print and cut projects on glossy or holographic materials, as well as some design tips with using pattern fills too. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.